here with Bay Area Ice Bears hockey coach Joe Gerard and it has a off day for your team. Um, championship game tomorrow. Um, yesterday's game, <laughs> pretty impressive stuff. Uh, you're able to get a win and uh, moving on to the pesky Metro Lynx team that really, really defensively was hard to crack. Their goal tender played like well, but your girls uh, prevail eventually. Yeah, we, you know, we we knew that she stopped and we you know, knew that it was going to be a, a different type of style of game than the first time we played them. So, uh, you know, and, and I think our structure is defense first and then wait for our opportunities and, you know, we're relentless getting bucks to the net. And, you know, our first goal, you can see, was just, in, and she made the first one or two stops and pucks way in there when we had an empty netter. So, um, and then it's just keep coming and coming and coming. You know, we have three lines every roll, and eventually, once everybody kind of got the butterflies and, you know, all the lights out, it was ready for us to pour it out. They, uh, they skated two lines in the game and figured that running three, you figure somewhere along the way they were going to get tired. Maybe they did a little bit in the end, but uh, the team ends up getting a win. And, uh, this is a team you played earlier this year, though, so I think you know, you're fairly familiar with it. Yeah, and you know, we watched, you know, we do kind of boys watch as an OC, and you know, we key on a couple of other players, and, and you know, we take the opportunity when their best players are in the ice, too, and, and we can do that. And so, um, but it, it helps. It helps that, that, that advantage of having a game before and the confidence going in. Um, that really helps. Um, you know, when you can do the important once and then team again twice, and you know, learn from the first one. You get some familiarity with them. Their, what their tendencies are. And, so now you go into the championship game against a superior team. Lee Hudson on a shorthanded goal on the last minute. Boy, what a tough way to lose that one for Hudson. Yeah, uh, you know, wasn't sure what to think of that one, but I think that Autumn Cooper is something special. So, uh, and, and they have McGill and Reggie, and you know, they're, they're, they're pretty skilled too. So um, I give credit to Hudson. Um, I, I think they, they took him down to the wire in, in the last few times they played him. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be quite a battle. Did you play in Superior at all this year? No, we have not seen them. We have okay. not seen them, so uh, I think it'll be a few, you know, the first couple of, you know, probably the first period, just to see okay. what everybody can do. And uh, you know, I think it's going to go back and forth. Okay. When you look at them, it just seemed like one of them. When I watched the game yesterday, I thought Hudson looked tired in the third period. Uh, I think they were gassed. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I mean, you could even tell when they did have the man advantage that, that you know, just, you know, you're, 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 your mind is just, you know, probably not there a little bit. You know, they had that turnover there on the blue line and we'll go back the other way and score. Yeah, and, you know, it, I'm watching that too and I'm thinking, I would find overtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's about six of them, right? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, so tomorrow you're looking for a pretty good game and mean, you haven't been on the ice with some here, but you got a good look at them yesterday. Yeah, and we go back to kind of, you know, who they played and what they did against them. And, and I got a real good look. Uh, yeah, and we'll start planning this afternoon. And, you know, uh, you know, and hopefully we come out with the same complete effort. And I'm not too worried. Good, good. Match, try to match lines with them? Nah, you, you know what? I, I, I think that way sometimes, but then there's other times where, you know, let them try to stop us. So, we'll, we'll see. Let's take a look, let's just, uh, final thing here, we'll take a look at, you know, we reflect on your season a little bit. Um, what, what about this Bay Area team this year? What's, you know, give, some, give us some of the highlights of this team of what's made this such a special season. You know, it's, you know, I think a lot of it, all the girls at times have contributed. Um, and we, we have everybody working, you know, from the same goal. Um, you know, we have this, you know, you know, we before me mentality that, um, that we really strive for with our program and 
your, your, your uh, lower lines also understand their role. They do, and, and, and I think that's something that, that, that we do, and we mix and match. I mean, if things are kind of not working, it's, you know, we've done enough where we can mix and match throughout the game, and they're still familiar with what we all do, and who's playing what, and who's doing what. So that's, that's really helpful if a girl goes down, or maybe somebody's not having a good night, or, you know, and, and we're there to pick each other up and, and keep going at it. And that's been pretty special. Um, you know, our, our older core, you know, the, the seniors really are, are a great group. Stacy Paul, uh, uh, Anna Isaac, Cliff Rather, um, they're really, you know, they've really kind of mentored some of those girls that, that are, you know, especially for something like this when it's, it's you know, high anxiety, you know, nerve wracking, everybody's afraid to make mistakes. And then, we just reiterate, don't make your mistakes. Go ahead, learn from it, acknowledge it, forget about it, let's go on and move on. It's just funny how when you get on the stage, those mistakes you make in a game, if it's a close game, they're getting magnified so much. So it's just how you how you just roll on. Yeah, you know, and that's I think that self-talk and then your team picks you up. So that, you gotta have that. You gotta have that because if you get down on yourself um, and you stay there, then you're not helping your team. So I, I think you gotta really dig deep and then you know lean on your teammates. And I think we've done a great job doing that all year. You talk about your uh seniors, but boy, you've got some sophomores there that are that are pretty doggone good. Yeah, they, you know, and, and I, I think going into last, like last year, they were my freshman group, and, and they contributed quite a bit, and I knew that, and I wanted to learn from that. Um, it was a great way to get them acclimated and get them going, and, and you know, they, you know, they, they have leadership roles out there as sophomores, um, and, and they do a great job. I, I think it's, you know, some of them have that maturity level that, that really yes. can, can help. Yes. All right, yeah. I guess it's been Joe Girard, the head coach of the Bay Area Ice Bears, and uh, Joe, I want to uh, congratulate you on a fantastic season, and good luck tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, buddy. Okay.